What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how you can airplay or screen mirror your uh, iOS device using Anycast M2 Plus and this will be a wireless connection, okay? So let me just go ahead and move up to my TV here and let's do this now. Now if you want to know how to set this up guys, you basically just plug it into the back of your um, HDMI port. It's a little, it's a dongle that basically looks like that. Kind of, it looks kind of like if you guys are familiar with Chromecast, looks like that dongle like that. Now with Chromecast, you're not going to be able to airplay. Okay. The only thing you can do is cast stuff onto your screen. You can't actually airplay, basically mirror what's on your screen onto your TV. Now this is a non-smart TV. So it doesn't matter if you have a smart TV or a non-smart TV. So I have it hooked up here and let me just show you if I whip up the control panel here and I type it, type in here, I am connected to any cast. Let me just go ahead and just log off really fast. Okay, and I'll show you how to log back in. And another great thing too about this uh, device here, guys, is um, you, do not need, you don't need a Wi-Fi network in order to connect. Okay, if you're familiar, a lot of the other mirroring devices, you do need a Wi-Fi network or you can't do anything. This here is basically a Wi-Fi direct connection. However, if you do have, um, uh, you, if you can connect to a Wi-Fi network if you, obviously, if you want uh, internet. So right now I am connected. And I do have Wi-Fi on there. Now, if, you, if I tap on setting first, settings, and you can see if I go under uh, Wi-Fi here, I'm connected to Anycast, okay? Now, the Anycast device is hooked up to my, my Wi-Fi, okay? So if I go to this uh, IP address here, this URL, and then you can see I connected my Wi-Fi to my home network here. But I don't have to have it unless I want to surf the Internet, but I want to show you. Uh, what you can do in regards to like surfing the internet as well. So obviously I'm screen mirroring. Everything that's on my TV is on my phone. Uh, so what can you do with this? Well, you can pretty much uh, project anything on your phone onto your TV. So let's do this. Let's look at pictures. Okay, here's a photo here. I can, oops. Oh wait, that's a video. Let, let me go ahead and play this video for you. How's everybody doing today? So I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 here, and I'm going to show you how to enable activate. Now, you can see the volume comes out from the TV. Okay, I know a lot of guys are going to ask that. Let me go ahead and press on pause here. And then let me go ahead and go back to screen. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's look at a photo here. Let me try to find a photo here. Uh, here's a photo. Uh, it's a dark photo. Let me find something that's a little bit cleaner. Here you go. So we can go ahead and zoom in here. You can see, as a matter of fact, let me just do another, let me do a better photo for you. Let me go ahead. Let me just take a photo right now. Let me, oops, what's going on here? Okay, let me take a picture of this stuff by next to my desk, just like that. And then I can tap on the photo here and you can see I can clearly zoom in. Okay, and let's do this. What else do you guys want to do? Oh, yeah, and one thing is, too, is uh, I, just let me mention this first, but you cannot play Netflix uh, with this Anycast, okay? Um, basically, you you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you an example here. Now, you can play Netflix, but, you know, basically there's not going to be no picture, and supposedly this uh, Anycast, um, the seller that I bought this from, is working on the license or something like that in order for them to be able to play uh, Netflix. So, but if you do play Netflix, uh, basically you're, you're going to get no picture. You'll be able to hear the sound and everything like that. So let me just give you like an example here. Okay, let's just pop on something here. Uh, let's watch a little bit of uh, Supergirl. But okay, see now as I'm playing it, I'm, let me focus in on here. You get this message right here, cannot play video, okay? But there are times where you can actually play it, but only the sound will come out, there'll be no picture. However, you can use uh, many other apps. Like we'll go to, uh, let's go to YouTube. Let's go to a YouTube and so I can show you an example here. Here's a video here, I'll go ahead and play this.
just about hooking up because the instructions are raise the very, volume very there difficult. the volume again this is it does cool come out you know, directly from the uh tv and let's do this too let's uh why don't we go ahead and just play a game we'll play this uh traffic rider but i would assume it, it's probably going to be a little bit too laggy to play a game but i'll show you anyway All right, let me just go to next. All right, give this a second to load. Uh-oh, my battery's almost dead here. Come on, let me let me just show you how this uh, plays out. You can see if there's uh, any lag. Okay, there we go. I couldn't get the sound on because I forgot I had the mute button on. But I hope you can hear this. Now, this game isn't really so graphic intensive. Uh, uh, let me lower this down. This game isn't so graphic intensive, but uh, if it was, you'll definitely notice lag. I don't really, really notice like really much of any lag right now because this game is not so graphic intensive. Uh, let me go ahead and click on continue here. Okay, there we go. So I may, I mean, so just by me playing this, I may notice like a tiny, a slight bit of lag. But like I said, if it is more graphic intensive, then you are going to um, see and feel a dramatic uh, lag. Let me go ahead, I'll go ahead and raise the volume here. Oh, let me, let me slow down here. I can't see, I can't see. Uh, oh shoot, I can't see again. Anyways, uh, if you guys have questions, uh, connection problems, or whatever, just comment below and help you guys out. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.